Um, this first case was a case of kissing spines or dorsal spinous impingement. Um, and so it was an upper level dressage horse, kind of an older horse, started having difficulty for the last several months um, and, and actually a bit more than that and nuclear scintigraphy diagnosed it as a case of kissing spines with moderate to intense uptake in that area. Um, so we gave the horse a series of shock wave treatments, 2,000 shocks with 35 millimeter probe at a high energy level. And here's the diagnostic imaging on this horse. And you can see both in the bone scan and in the x-ray that there's very definitely impingement of these dorsal spinous processes. And when that happens, that's bone on bone. And it's painful to the horse. It tends not to be a lameness issue, but it tends to be a performance issue. And if they're hurting, then muscles atrophy. When muscles atrophy, everything in the back doesn't move as well. And so we were looking for a treatment modality. Um, and there you can see it on the x-rays. Um, so we placed the probe directly on the top of the kissing spines and then you can see it placed on the horse on the right side of the slide and on the left it's showing it on the skeletal specimen which is a case of kissing spines. You can see to the left the spines are not impinging and on the middle portion they are impinging. That's where the proliferative new bone, which is loaded with nociceptors, is located. And what we want to do is affect that bone and downregulate those nociceptors so we can stop the spasm, which is contributing to the muscle loss, and we can let this horse get back to work, start moving again, and then we want to rebuild the muscle. Okay. Once we rebuild the, once you stop the pain, you stop the spasm, you get the horse back to work, and you can rebuild the muscle, and then the horse can go on, and usually doesn't need much treatment follow on with.